There's been a lot of questions floating around about how the changes to Airtable's pricing structure might affect the other tools you're already using, like Softer. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and we're an Airtable and Softer implementation partner. Now, if you haven't seen our full video on Airtable's pricing changes, we'll link to that as well, but we're going to focus specifically on how this pertains to Softer. If you haven't tried Softer before, you can sign up using the affiliate link in the description below. The biggest factor that makes a difference as you're thinking about how Airtable interacts with Softer and how those pricing changes might make impacts is around the API limitations. Now, if you don't have a technical background, you might not be thinking of all the times that Airtable's API gets utilized. I just want to show a couple of examples here. So in Softer's case, it's pulling data from Airtable and it's doing that via an API. So when a user logs into your app, or maybe you've got a public facing one and people come to your Softer web application that's a website, that information as it's pulling from Airtable uses the API. Tools like Fillout to be able to do some of the interacting they do with Airtable's data. That happens with their API as well. Tools like Zapier and Make are using Airtable's APIs in the background to be able to run events, to be able to push or pull data from other systems and integrate them together. So there's a good chance that even if you hadn't planned on actually using Airtable's API, that some of the tools that you're using are utilizing that API already. In the past, there were API limits in force, and these were rate limits in terms of how many calls, how many times we can hit an endpoint and grab information back. And that was just based so that people didn't suddenly spam the system and you've got all these different requests. It was limited to five API calls per second per base that you had. And that was pretty standard. It didn't really affect a whole lot of people because if you were to do more than five API calls a second, that's pretty high volume. But as Airtable has updated their pricing information, they've also added monthly API call limits. On the free plan, you get 1,000 calls per month, team plan 100,000, business plan is unlimited, and enterprise hasn't been disclosed publicly. Now, 1,000 calls is not a lot. If you think about 30 days in a month, you get approximately 30 calls. That's not a lot of moving data around, especially if a single integration might take multiple calls to get a given job done. And it's important to think about what those API limits mean because again, Softer is basing their information that they're pulling from Airtable on those APIs. Let's dig in a little bit. What happens when we actually hit that? Do they just shut everything off? Airtable has disclosed that no, we're not going to actually just shut everything off, but we're going to lower the rate limit for the remainder of the month. So if we have a thousand calls per month on the free plan, and now we hit 1,001 calls, then at this point, something is going to happen with a rate limit. They're not gonna say, boom, you're done, you can't access the API at all, but suddenly you'll start to experience some kind of performance issues. It's not gonna be working exactly the way you think if you're running into some rate limit issues. But the real question about this is, we're not exactly sure what that rate limiting looks like. As far as we're aware, that's not information that Airtable has disclosed. We haven't seen it in comments or in responses to anything. So a couple things could happen. If this rate limit, the five API calls, just goes away and, and really it's just on these monthly API call limits, then going from 1,000 calls per month and now you can only do five calls a second, not a big deal. Software already handles that five API call limits and so you shouldn't see any issues there. However, if the five API call limit stays in place and we say, hey, we hit our 1,000 calls and now instead of five API calls, you get two API calls per second, that's where you might start to see some issues. Now, I'll also mention here that Softer is not enforcing its own limits over the top of anything that Airtable has done. It's really Airtable structure here. Softer has its own API that you can use to create users and things like that, but they don't have any workarounds outside of the structure that Airtable has put in place for limiting those API calls. So what's the recommendation? If you're familiar with Softer's pricing model, they have flat fee pricing per month. So what that means is if you're on professional, you get 50 internal and 5,000 external app users. Business, we double that to 100 internal and 10,000 external app users. So you're not paying that per user per month fee that you are doing with Airtable. So it makes sense to upgrade your free plan to the team plan or business plan with those higher limits or no limits at all because the number of users that you have in your softer web application doesn't make a difference to your Airtable bill. It's not that per user per month pricing.
Now, you probably have questions on how this pertains directly to you. So if you're an existing customer of Softer, you can always contact them in their support chat. Or if you're new to Softer, they've got a free consultation that you can use to optimize specifically for Airtable.